Let's take a look at the axe card. Unlike most of the Grim tools that are made from stainless steel, this is a premium tool steel. This is a D2. And it's pretty substantial as well. This is eighth inch thick. You can see the chiseled edge on there. And even though this is pretty thick, this is still sized small enough to fit in a personal survival tent or the credit card slot of your wallet. So this is a small tool and it's got a couple different ways to hold it. I've got a finger groove here as well as a finger slot in the back. This is a chiseled edge. So that means the edge just comes in from one side. So I mentioned our primary edge here, which is a chiseled grind. And this is gonna work great if I was doing any type of planing. So if I was trying to make something flat with this tool, or if I was using this similarly to a chisel to take a notch out. This bottom edge is what I would use if I was just shaving something down. So if I was using this strictly as a, as a knife, this bottom edge is what I would use. You've also got this cool contour to it. So you see this transition piece. So a couple different angles intersect here. This point right here, as well as this point right here, would be what I would use if I was trying to start a hole into wood or if I was making a spoon. This area right here is what I would use to dig the bowl of a spoon out. Now because of the grip configuration of this, if you're using this by hand without having this lashed to a stick, this is how I use it. And my thumb rests on the back here, so I don't want this spine overly sharp, but just a little touch up would be all that's required to be able to use this for a ferro rod. I can hit it now with a rod and it will spark and I could make a fire, but this is not as sharp as some of the uh, dedicated striking tools that I have. I've always got a knife with me anyway, so I always view a smaller knife that's gonna fit in a personal survival tin or in a card just as a backup. I wouldn't use this as a primary edge on purpose, but this is different. This does different functions than a standard belt knife is gonna do. I've got the ability to use it like, like a chisel. That's something I can't do. I can pry on this. This is a very, very thick, thick tool for its length. So this is gonna work great for popping any type of notches out of wood. I can also use a stick on the back and I can hold this up and I can pop this into something. Again, popping it into a square notch and lifting it out. But what really excites me about this tool is the ability to put it on a stick and make a small hatchet with it. So I put a little saw cut into this limb and this is a little undersized but I think I can just tap it and get it to seat all the way. I've got these cool holes and I'm going to utilize the uh, finger hole as well to lash this on. So these holes here, they're sized so I can fit paracord right through there. So that's about perfect. Uh, I use bank line just as much as paracord, so I'm going to lash this in using 36 bank line. So here's the axe card lashed on to a handle, and this thing is primal right here. This would work great for any type of crafting. You could have this in your life vest, dump your canoe, break your paddle, and you would be able to carve a rudimentary paddle without a whole lot of effort with this thing. This would also be perfect for building a shelter. So this is April 18th in Ohio and we still get snow here. So that's why it's important for me to be able to carry gear that I can make a shelter with in an emergency. This is something that you wouldn't expect. So with this X card tied on a stick here, I'm gonna be able to delimb small trees like this and that's gonna help me get straight poles and make a lean-to. So for any type of crafting, I would probably use a handle on this almost all the time. Once I put a handle on it, I don't think I would really take one off to be honest. I can use this, just the skin bark. So when it's wet like this, this is going to let me get into the drier intersections of the trees. Heck of a tool, and it's about perfect for this type of environment. 
So to keep that tool in perspective, this is not something that you're going to want to cut a cord of firewood or chop down a tree and make a log cabin. But this fits in your pocket. And when you put it on a stick like this, you can really amplify some force to it. This is definitely puts the odds in your favor when conditions get bad. So you can also orientate the axe tool and the blade out configuration. And in this case, it's almost like a long handled chisel. So this is going to give me a little better work area. It's going to be a little safer for me to use. This would work in this situation to break through ice. You'd have a heck of a time doing that with just the sharpened stick. With a D2 tool steel axe head like this, I could punch through ice with zero issues. I could also use this to strip bark if I was needed quite a bit of uh, inner bark for making natural cordage. This would help me take off long, smooth strips. This would also help me make bark containers. So a lot of versatility by taking this small tool and just adding a handle. So there are not a lot of tools like this. This is something that's usable by hand. This is going to work great for skinning game. This rounded edge is going to work similarly to an ulu. So maybe even if I had more of a more of a machete type knife with me and this was a backup, this would probably be better for fleshing out game or processing hide than a larger knife. So I'm really liking this. I love the fact that I can keep it on me at all times and then add a stick to it and now I can I can make shelters. It's just that much more useful of a tool with these lash holes on the back. So if you looked at this as a, just a good solid cutting edge that fits in your wallet or fits in a tin, it's that. This would do as good a job as most any of the small survival tin knives. If you look at it as a small axe or a small hatchet that you can attach to a stick, now that really changes things. This really makes this more of a, a must-have item, especially in inclement conditions. So if you EDC a card, maybe more of a survival type card that's got knives and hooks and needles, and then maybe you have more of a trapping based card on you all the time. When times get bad or you're going out further away than normal, maybe adding an axe card like this might be something you want to do. So if you kind of like to travel light, I bet you're not carrying an axe. And yeah, you can baton a knife, but this is going to save the edge on your primary tool, your belt knife. This is going to be a super durable, lightweight option that serves a lot of functions in the wilderness.